This has been kind of a important, even um, landmark week for our family, kind of a rite of passage as a parent. You see, my oldest, my son Alec, turned 18 this week. Now, as a parent, we know that that means he could really look at me and just go, I'm out of here. <laughs> I'm going to do what I want. As it is, he's decided to stick around for a little bit, and in a couple months, um, he's going to move 300 miles away, and he's going to go start college, and I'm going to drop him off there. So it's been funny. We've been having some graduation parties and some different stuff where we've been pulling out old baby pictures, and we've been looking back and remembering some of the, you know, those early days. Early days, I remember the first day. I remember when he was born, and I remember when the nurses wrapped him up in that baby blanket really tight like a little baby burrito. And there they handed him to me, and I remember holding him for the first time and looking in his eyes. And not even 24 hours later, they hand him to us, they check us out of the hospital, and they're like, you're on your own. And I remember walking out of the hospital holding him, and I looked at him, and then I looked over at my wife, and I said, we have no idea what we're doing at all. And I remember just literally just trying to figure it out. Those of you guys who are parents, you guys might remember with that first kid, that first diaper change, I used an entire box of wipes, all right? I just didn't, you know, I don't know, it's not enough, you know, just, and just, and we didn't know, we were just figuring things out. First time he cried, you rush over and you pick him up. Uh, is he okay? Check him, he's, he's fine, you know? Because, I mean, you just, you don't know. And I remember as he gets older and the first time that we put him in that, high chair and we, and we placed him in there and you do the safety belt really nice and tight. Oh, he's turning blue, a little looser, okay. You know, put him in there. Then you go over to the drawer and pull out one of those freshly sterilized, clean baby spoons and put it there. And then he hucks it across the room. So you go, you pick it up, you put it in the sink, you go get another out of the drawer, freshly sterilized spoon and place it there. I mean, this is just, you know, this is your first child, right? Then I remember the first time he started taking steps and he took a step or two and then poof, fell and you run over and you pick him up and you look and blemishes, no, scratches, better take him to the hospital for a CAT scan just to be sure, you know, and you go I mean, because it's your first child. But then after a while, you kind of get used to stuff, you get used to the diaper changes, you get used to all that and you're chasing them all around and, and Alec got to be two years old and then, I mean, man, just thinking about it just even makes me tired. Then we had our second kid. Oh, man. Second kid. I remember she started crying. Let her cry five minutes. It'll build character. Because, <laughs> you know, you got this down. You're used to it a little bit. Then there's that first diaper change. You know, and by then, man, those wipes are expensive. One wipey, all right? <laughs> wipe, fold, wipe, wipe, fold. Eh, there's still a little mess. I'll get that next diaper change. Doesn't matter. There you go. <laughs> Second child. Remember, she got old enough, we put her in the high chair, just threw in there, slapped the lid there, hand her the spoon, she hucks it. Pick it up off the floor, clean it with your t-shirt, put it back on there. There you go. Eat up, you know? It's your second child. I just remember that, man. I just remember what it's like. And then she's getting older and Alex's getting older and she's going one direction. He's going a different direction, and I, I think the word tired doesn't even describe it. I think by the time my third child came, I was exhausted. And I was just, I remember lying there on the couch, babies crying. Somebody hear the babies crying. I can hear the baby crying. It's kind of a high pitch. Hold on a second. Let me just turn up the stereo a little louder. Oh, I don't hear the baby crying anymore. It's beautiful. Oh, it's so beautiful. And then, and then I remember like, you know, her all of a sudden it came to be that diaper change. Oh, baby needs a diaper change. Let's see. Let's see. Alec, you're five years old. Go change your sister's diaper. <laughs> what? You're out of white piece? Just take her in the backyard and hose her down. That's fine. <laughs> Just don't set, set her on the cement, not on the bark. That hurts her back there. I remember the first time we went and we took her and we, and we put her in that baby high chair. We put her in there. All right, you'll be fine. You'll walk away. She hucks the spoon. She dropped the spoon. Yep, she dropped the spoon right in the kitty's litter box. <laughs> hey, Alec, would you pick up your sister's spoon? Yeah, just wipe off the spicy pebbles there on your shirt there. Just put that back up. This is the third child. 
I don't know about you, but it's just kind of, we learned this stuff as we went along. Either that or we were just so exhausted we didn't care anymore. I don't know. But it's hard being a parent.